This is Michael Scott Hollish with the Reform Report, and today I wanted to do a segment on the viable path that I believe the Democrats are definitively going to take and manipulate in 2020 with removing Donald Trump from the White House. And before I get into that, I just wanted to point out that the Democrats have wanted to remove Donald Trump ever since the day that he swore in his oath as president of the United States. So for three years, they have thrown every single unsubstantiated claim that they could come up with at him, and nothing has worked. I mean, they have even thrown things that have read like a National Enquirer headline, and nothing has worked, obviously. So what I believe that they are going to do is they are going to heavily implement and manipulate fraction magic in 2020. And you may be asking, what is fraction magic? Well, to put it simply, it's voter fraud. It's fraud by way of encoding and manipulating voting machines to take whole votes and fractionalize them. There's an author who has done extensive research on this tool. Um, She has authored a book called Black Box Voting. It's a very informative book. And um, she has worked with voting experts to basically show with the modern systems of voting, such as the gym system, there are subcontractors and they can go into the system and, as I said, convert whole numbers into fractions. So essentially all political power is converted to the hands of anonymous subcontractors that are uh, approved to work with these voting systems. As Bev Harris points out, Fraction Magic is a product. It's scalable. It can be made to adjust to any demographic in any political environment. It's a system that runs silently, covertly, and can produce results that pass for real votes. So essentially, As these votes are tallied in the precincts, they are under the gym system, they are gathered and they are sent to a master computer location. These are systems that aren't operating in a way that is accountable to the public. Other voting systems outside of gyms have modeled the way that they do things and uh, after the gym system. So essentially they're operating in a very similar method as the gym system. Decimalizing votes allows for vote allocation. It is the ability to have a vote not represent a whole number. So that is important to remember. It can be used to make a candidate lose an election that he or she otherwise potentially would have won on a fair and balanced voting system with genuine oversight. I mean, it's essentially the manipulation and theft of our democracy. So as 2020 looms, it's a major deceptive tool that needs to be exposed on a large scale and I brought this up to Judge Janine Pirro the other night when I attended her book release for her new book, Radicals, Resistance, and Revenge. And uh, I think this is something that is being overlooked, but I think it is the backdoor uh, dealing, especially when it comes down to the election itself, that is going to be the utmost damaging uh, for President Trump and is going to be the most beneficial to the Democratic Party. So here is my brief back and forth with uh, Judge Jeanine Pirro. 
friend all How are I'm you? I'm swell. How are you doing? Good. I wanted to ask you something real yeah. fast. I think you're dropping the ball on not covering uh, machine manipulation with voter fraud. Uh, what oversight is going to be implemented to make sure they can prevent uh, internal manipulation of the votes? Like where they break down, you know, fractionalized votes and everything like like the uh, machine fraud. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that as the year goes on. Absolutely, yeah, I agree it's with you. Very realistic that that's yes, gonna happen. Yes, I agree with you. Great Take idea. Care. Now I just wanted to point something out. This isn't just a left versus right technique. This is a technique that has been implemented and abused by the establishment to help ensure that the most establishment candidates win office. Now, in the 2020 election, Donald Trump represents the non-establishment. And much like they've done for three years, they are going to do anything and everything to help ensure that their most establishment candidate wins the White House. This is something that has been abused in all of our elections from local to state to federal, including primary elections. It has been abused by the right against the right and also abused by the left against the left. It has also been utilized to help ensure that independent and third party positions do not win vital government seats. It is something that affects all of us, no matter what our political ideology is. Now, for those of you who would ask, well, why wasn't this used in 2016? I honestly don't think that they were prepared for the results. I think they were believing the polls, much like the Clinton campaign were believing the polls. The corporate media were believing the polls they were conducting. They thought the results were going to be the opposite of what they were, that, that Hillary Clinton was handedly going to beat Donald Trump. Now, I just don't think they were prepared for it. The rest assured they are going to exploit any avenue that they have to make sure that the election in 2020 goes in their favor and right now election fraud just isn't being discussed by anybody not even on the right it's a very tangible avenue that is going to be exploited so i want to start discussing these things now i think that any talking head should be discussing this as well, and I hope that Janine Pirro will start talking about this and won't wait until a month before the election because these individuals that are going to be behind exploiting these techniques, they need to be put on notice. They need to know that the American people are being educated. So that's why I'm going to be talking about this a little bit more, and I wanted to bring it up with you guys. So. You guys have a good day, and please share this around. More people need to hear about it. It is a very real issue that we are going to be facing in 2020.